We'll get started with Greg Logan from Newsday. Hi, Kevin. Uh, I know this was just a basketball game today, uh, but because of where you're located and all the stuff surrounding it and what you went through, was there any particular emotion that people carried with them into this game today beyond the feelings about basketball? Um, I think guys are um, obviously aware of what's going on in our country. And uh, we have conversations about this all the time, but once we step on the floor, we understand what our job is. And uh, But the dialogue is never going to stop on how we can better our society. And a lot of guys are you know, doing their part on this team. Malika Andrews with ESPN. Two for you, Kevin. First, piggybacking off of what, what Greg just said. I mean, what, what was it like for you guys to land, to find out will they, won't they? Is this going to be rescheduled, not going to be rescheduled? What was that process like? Um, I think most of the guys took their naps right before the game yesterday and got up and got a text that game may be canceled. And it just happened so fast. Um, but we had some solutions. And, you know, we heard that we was going to play at 1 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 3 o'clock. So I'm glad the NBA – uh, made this game happen and not postpone it. And, you know, we come out here for nothing. So I'm glad we finished it off. And, uh, you know, we want to continue to just keep showing our support for what's going on, but also knowing that uh, we got a job to do. Yeah, absolutely. That makes sense. And then how did you, you played more minutes than you have played? How did you feel? And how does that leave you feeling about, do you want to play? Are you going to play tomorrow? Um, I felt good out there. I mean, I felt um, like my wind and legs are getting up under me each and every minute I'm playing. And that's the most, uh, that's really, like really what I wanted out of this time. And uh, we'll see how I feel in the morning. And I'll talk to the coach, talk to coach and the training staff and see where we go from there. Thank you. Alex Schiffer with The Athletic. Kevin, kind of similar to what Malik and Greg asked. You know, I don't know if you saw the, the Magic Spurs game last night. They kind of met at center court, you know, in demonstration for what happened in, in Minneapolis. Do you guys have any talk in the locker room pregame about doing something like that, or, or it was more uh, game-oriented? Yeah, it was more game-oriented. I think the shirts that we wore, both teams wore, spoke volumes. Um, and But we didn't plan on doing anything. I think if we come out there and, and respect and honor the game the right way, that, says, that sends a good message along with – what we had on our shirts today. So, uh, you know, guys handled it well, both teams. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Hey, Kevin, you know, Steve was talking pregame about, you know, the idea of postponing a game, not playing in the game at all versus having an actual reason to not play in the game in terms of actionable items that think of things that can get done. Uh, in terms of these communities where there's obviously police brutality against black people, I'm, I'm just curious if that's something that you guys have talked about in terms of action items. Like, I feel like a lot of times people are asking NBA players to use their platforms and do all types of things, but a lot of times people, the conversation will stop happening, right? Like, what, what have you guys had a chance to talk about in terms of actions that could potentially do something to stop this from happening again? I uh, mean, guys, are not, we're not talking about using this platform to make a stand. Um, but a lot of guys are doing their part in their communities individually. And we all doing stuff in our, what we played at, what we went to school at, what we grew up at. So um, obviously, you know, we want to use your voice and use your platform, but I think a lot of guys are quietly doing their thing behind the scenes and uh, trying to, you know, uh, work towards a solution for all of this stuff. So uh, whether we do it on the NBA stage or do it behind the scenes, I think it's all, it'll, it'll all help. Lisa Salters with ESPN. Hey, Kevin, just uh, what was your initial reaction when you when you found out about what had happened? The at shooting the, itself, I'm talking about at this at this point it is it, is you just really don't understand what's going on around here. You know, it's it's different stories every single day about families lives getting altered because of police brutality. And I mean, at this point, I have I really don't know what to say. Bruce Beck with NBC New York. Kevin, how far do we still have to go in your mind as a society to get this right? I mean, who knows? Who knows? I mean, it's an ongoing problem for the last 400 years. You know what I'm saying? So who knows when it'll stop? But the awareness is good. I mean, you know, people in positions of power are doing, trying to do their part to uh, find solutions, but I mean, it's a it's a whole world problem. All of us got to come together at some point and figure it out. But I don't I don't know. 
Tina Servacio with Fox 5 New York. Kevin, shifting towards the game for a second here, um, you did say, you know, you have to see how you feel in the morning, but training staff aside, medical staff aside, whatever the plan is they have for you medically, when you're matching up against the Sixers with the postseason just a month away, and this is the team you're battling with for the top seed, how much do you want to play in a game like this, particularly against that team? I want to play just to uh, get back in the swing of things more so than like pinpointing that matchup. You know what I'm saying? I think for us, we want to get everybody healthy and acclimated to what we're doing out there. Um, and I think that's just as important as like circling the calendar for Philly. We're a great team, well coached, and some I'm sure a team we won't have to run into here soon. But uh, for us at this point, we want to continue to just fine tune what we do, get better at, at the things that uh, make us who we are, and we'll see what happens down the line. Tom Dowd, BrooklynNets.com. Hey, Kevin, you were missing some guys today, and, and, you know, you watched this team put up a very good record while you were out. You know, what does it say to you about the way this team continues to thrive in, in situations like this? Uh, we're well coached. Um, we got coaching staff that keeps everybody locked in, no matter who's out on the floor. We got hungry guys on our team that want minutes, that want opportunities. Um, and, you know, you add that combination together. You know, some of these games that people might have thought we will – uh, lose, we end up coming out on top. And I, that, that's credit to the coaching staff and the players for staying ready. Thanks, Kevin. We appreciate it. Yep.